Welcome to Countdown to Infinity, a Marvel's Avengers podcast. We talk all things Marvel Cinematic Universe, including the TV shows on Disney Plus and the movies. <laughs> We're in a little bit of a break right now between <laughs> releases. So we have been talking about some MCU news, and then we will take a fun quiz based on the MCU. So that's this episode. We're going to be talking about some news, and then we're going to take a fun quiz. Why are you giggling? Because I thought... <laughs> okay, so when you were, like, saying we talk all things Marvel Cinematic Universe, including the T... I thought you were going to say, like, including the T. Ooh, drama. And then go into the drama. We are going to talk a little bit about T <laughs> drama. <laughs> but before then, let's introduce ourselves. Oh, yeah. Who are you? My name's Emmanuel. Oh, hi, Emmanuel. Hello. What's who? Who are you? <laughs> My name is Sophia. Are you? Uh, how have you? Do you, you come in... here often? Or okay, now we're just doing our. We're just starting over. <laughs> the whole pod is starting over with us meeting our whole relationship. We cut to a hospital. I'm born. Okay, that's how far ahead I want to start. Okay, I get the joke now. Uh, how how are you enjoying kind of this break in MCU stuff? Um, I think we talked about this last time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's fine. I guess we don't have to talk about it every single No, week. I mean, you already asked me. Yeah. It's fine. I think that it's uh, like a mental break, you know, mm -hmm. for me. So it's like not as like um, mentally... Taxing on yeah, you. Yeah. Like I don't feel like I need to watch something right now, yeah. which is nice because I don't have the time to watch something I've right now. enjoyed being able to watch so. other stuff. Like yeah. Like not Marvel stuff because mm -hmm. even though we enjoy it... Mm hmm you know, you have to make the decision to watch a Marvel show and Over spend an hour else. doing that and yeah. not something else. Mm -hmm. And I just watched John Wick tonight mm -hmm. and I was like, great movie. Yeah. Um, Ted Lasso's back. Ted Lasso's Shout back. Shout out to Apple. <laughs> I think later on we'll be talking about whether... I think we'll need to see how Guardians does first. Oh my God. See? I think it's going to do really well. I think it's going to hit me like a train. Yeah. After this mental break too. That's in two that, months. That's in I'm May I'm going to go straight into that. Sobbing. But, Sobbing. I bring that up because this month, you know, I watched John Wick today. Yeah. I watched Scream earlier this month. Okay, now and you're Creed just, came out. I'm I, just bragging. Now you're just bragging. I'm bragging. No. Yeah. <laughs> but Scream, Creed, and John Wick uh -huh. all broke their franchise record this month. So uh -huh. movies are back. People are watching movies like crazy. Mm -hmm. The only movie to not do well in the box office this month in terms of large release was Shazam 2, Fury mm -hmm. of the Gods, mm -hmm. which is a DC film, mm -hmm. but it's a superhero movie. And I think it's interesting how, you know, basically a lot of the big releases this month have worked really, really, really well, except for the superhero mm -hmm. one. Willy, willy. I, did, I know. I was like <laughs> slurring my words. And I don't want to like start to, you know, raise alarm bells around superhero movies yet. Because oh again, gosh. Guardians will probably do really good. Yes. But it, what, I, what do you think about like the, the audience that goes to movies kind of, at least for Shazam and potentially other MC <laughs> movies, just saying like, you know, we're good. I we, feel like we also talked about this last did time. We? Yeah. Um, because uh, I think this came up because we were talking about the gaps in between the Marvel movies and how people yeah. were kind of like, okay, like another superhero movie. Mm -hmm. um, but that's, I'm going to say what I think I said last time. And if not, like, please, somebody, I'm sure you will DM me on my, on my Twitter or mm -hmm. whatever. But um, I feel like because of these breaks, people are going to get to miss superhero movies again. Yeah. Does that make sense? So, like... It, let's say, like, since we do have this gap between, what, Quantumania and uh, Guardians. Guardians. And we don't even know what's going to come out on Disney+, Plus because they mm -hmm. have just straight up not mm -hmm. told anyone. Right. And uh, we also talked about that because I mentioned, like, Loki and how I appreciated the series in between the flicks that have nothing to do with the flicks, but then eventually mm -hmm. do have to do with the flicks they because connect. they all connect together. Um, but I feel like I appreciate the series more because I don't have to like sit through a three and a half hour long movie. Yeah. You'd rather spend seven hours across. Yes. Uh, uh, on my, months, on my couch. Yeah. No, but um, like they have, I mean, not as much quality as the movies do, obviously, wow. because of the budget. But they're still really entertaining, and they're done f really, really well. So it's going to make a difference for me as a consumer, as a watcher, whatever you want to say, the audience, um, to just have that convenience of it just being at my house. Um, but I do think that 
based on how many Marvel movies have come out and then also how many are projected to come out. I mean, maybe there's going to be a dip in the audience because, like, I mean, how often are you going to have, like, a MacGuffin in a movie, but just across every single Marvel movie? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it, and it, it, the amount of stuff we got did grow exponentially really quickly, too. It wasn't uh-huh. like they built up to having eight things a year. Right. It went from two movies, you know, or three movies, mm-hmm. to straight up, there's a show every month, yeah, uh-huh. and then there's three movies still coming out. So right. I think all that happening all at once is... Um, it was it was a big decision for mm-hmm. them to kind of make that biggest splash. Yeah. And we'll have to see if, again, like later on this year... They're they're making this commitment to having less stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll have to see if it works out. And I only bring it up because it's going to be connected to some of the news we talk about. I mean, Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantum Mania uh, mm-hmm. may not even cross half a billion dollars, five hundred million dollars. Now, yeah. look, that is a sh- uh, that's a lot of money. That's more money than you know we've. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, that's that's a, that's more money than I have in my bank account right now. <laughs> But barely. Uh, but, okay, speak for yourself. No, I'm <laughs> oh just God. kidding. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> but it is not... I mean, the movies cost a lot of money, too. And, you know, for a while, every Marvel movie overperformed. And so mm-hmm. the fact that Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is potentially maybe one of the lower grossing movies, yeah. um, I think is a, is, is, a, is a thing that Disney notices, for sure. Uh-huh. So I think... Uh, we'll have to see what they change and stuff to to kind of bring people back to to watching every movie in the theaters again. Because it's it just it didn't happen with Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantumania. I mean, now because so many storylines are overlapping, like yeah. to be totally frank, we're not going to get the same sensation that we got to follow for yeah. like Endgame, mm-hmm. for instance. Like that's just and I don't even count Guardian. Look, Gar- I I know Cardi Guardian is going to do well. You know, but Cardi B is going to do. It well. just doesn't count because it's it's James Gunn. It's in a it, and it's continuing the Guardians movie. Yes, also this is not last a brand one. New, yeah, right. So potentially like last, potentially so last one. It's going to do well. Yes, so I, I think it's good. But it's like, is the Marvels that it's coming out later right. on this? Is that going to do? Okay? But that's what I'm saying. Like they're. What Disney is trying to do is like tie all of these storylines together, yeah. similar to Endgame, because with Kang and the Kang Dynasty, like all this shit yeah. is going, excuse me, all this stuff is going to eventually hit the fan. Yeah. And it's going to be, it's, they're going to try to do an Endgame again. And I don't think it's, I don't think it's going to work out as strongly as Endgame yeah. did before. Because that was the first time we had ever experienced anything like that. And expectations are high. Yes. And maybe higher, mm-hmm. which is crazy to think of. Yes. Well, let's talk about some of the other news. And look, we don't, we're not a gossip column, okay? This <laughs> Again, isn't Gossip speak Girl. for yourself. No, extra, extra. Wait, what does Gossip Girl say? Kissy, kissy. What does she say? Extra, extra? I'm sorry. Yes, she says kissy, kissy. Is, is, ex, is it extra, extra? No, no, she says kissy, kissy. No. What I, does she I say for real? XOXO. 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 <laughs> so we've got some pieces of news. You have now, to say it's sexy. XOXO. <laughs> but look, we're going to talk about some stuff because it's hard to ignore some of this news. <laughs> the biggest caveat we'll say is there's a lot still that we don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, when we're talking about the news we're about to talk about mm-hmm. and uh, it's very early on and more will come out i wonder what it is but it's been a busy week and maybe the worst th- couple of weeks for marvel ever i'm not even joking like in terms of and we're not even talking about movies okay we're talking no. about people that work on these movies yeah. but the first bit of news came out early last week and that's the fact that mm. victoria alonzo who had been at marvel since iron man marvel yes. studios since iron man since the jump one of the few og producers at marvel mm-hmm. was let go from Disney. It's about that time. There, I, I'm not even comfortable saying why because nobody knows. I mean, that. which reason do there's you want an, to say? Well, and there's a crazy PR battle happening yes. with her people and Disney's people. So mm-hmm. I don't even think the, a lot of truth is coming out. No, I think a lot of people online immediately just blamed her for the visual effects mm-hmm. because that was the department she was in charge of. But mm-hmm. again, there's no like evidence of that at all. No, Disney also said she breached her contract. She promoted a movie for Amazon Prime because she had produced it at, and it was nominated for an Oscar. Mm-hmm. Um, and she says that's, you know, and it's her like people dipping. are also saying that she is being targeted because she spoke out against uh, Bob Chapek, the former CEO of Disney, mm-hmm. over the don't say gay bill in Florida. So there's all of this news. Mm-hmm. 
And uh, again, it's all from PR people, so we don't even so know what's know, true. Yeah, you don't know what to believe. But I think we can talk about just the impact of someone that important at Marvel being gone. Mm-hmm. And and the fact that he, she and Kevin Feige and you know Sarah Flynn, who did the casting, and just a handful of people kind of crafted Marvel. Do you think we're going to feel her absence just because one of the OGs producers at Marvel uh, is gone? Or do you think it's just going to be kind of a blip and this is like, you know, <laughs> they could just re- get new hmm. VFX people, you know, in there if they want to? I mean, it's hard to say because like the product part of it doesn't necessarily come from her. Like there are yeah. so many people under her yeah. that actually like ha- a- apply their talents mm-hmm. to visual effects. Like just because she's gone doesn't mean she took all of her templates with her. You know yeah. what I mean? Like they're still going to have like pretty and, high quality and content. The rumor was she greenlit every mm-hmm. single effect scene. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of effect scenes. Mm-hmm. Um, but you assume like anyone else can also greenlight anything. Yeah. But uh, I don't know if if that means like oh, the people that she has working on her team said it was okay. And so therefore, technically, she said it was okay. Or if she legit... Because we don't work there. Like, we wouldn't actually know. know. And one of the craziest rumors are VFX artists who say that she was... Overworking people. Overworking people, being rude, and and like almost even blacklisting Mm -hmm. visual effects companies that Mm -hmm. couldn't meet, you know, the expectations she had. Mm -hmm. But those are all just allegations because I don't know... You don't know who's saying these things. Who's saying that? No. Um, And then also I feel like because there is so so many years that she has under her belt at Marvel. I think that's the biggest thing that's going to be missing for the the studio. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's very easy for people to have worked with her like what, like 10 years ago to say like, oh my God, she was, she was like the best. She did this. She did that. Blah, 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 blah. I bet her and Feige just would text each other thing, you know, and just be like very quick to make decisions together because they were there. Totally. Maybe 15 years, 16 years. For sure. And then people now are like, oh my gosh, she's the worst. You know what I mean? Like it just, there's so many sides to this or to her because there's so many people that i'm sure experienced working with her and that doesn't mean it's going to be it's well i mean it's not going to be the same experience for everybody and this may all end up being a giant lawsuit Mm -hmm. she's retained a great lawyer if it's not already disney is saying that she's already breached contract by talking Mm -hmm. just period (laughs) um so we're gonna learn more and the other the other insane thing is the timing of this, because she has a book coming out at the end of the year. <laughs> this was before she got let go. Mm-hmm. She has a book that she she wrote that's coming out at the end of the year. The other big twist, it's coming out through Disney's publishing arm. So it's not going to be that mean to Disney, mm-hmm. I don't think. And mm-hmm. so, and Or she may not even release it. Mm-hmm. Um, and if she wants to do a big tell-all that includes Disney, it may come out you know, at a different publisher, but we'll keep you updated again. Like we're only talking about this cause this is a, a, one of the key people at Marvel studios. Yeah. And we don't know what the effects will be or if there will be any. Okay. The next piece of news. <laughs> Can you imagine no more effects now? <laughs> no more effect. All practical. <laughs> uh, and so, so the next piece of news is, is, I mean, I can't tell you how new this is. It's like literally from a couple days ago mm-hmm. and we're recording this. If you're listening to this much later, Sunday, Mm-hmm. March the 26th, the kind of mm-hmm. time to say that. Um, and it is relating to an actor oh. in the Mar- – yeah. Also, um, if you are sensitive to any um, like physical harm or stories of that, like please yeah. just um, – and, and we will not go into detail. Just, no, just yeah. – yeah. But it is, it is a relation to a story surrounding Jonathan Majors who obviously plays Kang the Conqueror mm-hmm. and um, – you know, we'll just talk, touch briefly on it. Obviously, there are, these are human beings that are involved. Yes. And they should be the focus, especially if there was some wrongdoing. But he was accused by his girlfriend uh, over the weekend, um, uh, alleging that uh, there were some there was domestic violence mm-hmm. that happened uh, one night. Mm-hmm. The police got involved, collected evidence, and arrested Jonathan Majors. Uh, the, this is so new. I don't think there's any reaction from Disney or Marvel or anything like that. Yet. Although I believe the army started to pull his ads. So his commercials aren't playing right now, mm-hmm. 
but obviously something that will impact the MCU in a big <laughs> way if it, if 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 something you know happens here. If it continues here, to be, I don't. Yeah. I think it's like you know we're talking about variants, so things. I think it'll be a, a an easy, f- quick fix. To be honest with you, for them the, to recast, I think they will do it if they need to. Does mm-hmm. that make sense? I don't yes. think they're gonna like change the direction of the whole thing <clears throat> no but again just it's really early on and we don't know and all of this is you know uh allegations and he's got a lawyer now and mm-hmm. everyone has a lawyer and you know his team is saying that uh his girlfriend has already recanted the story um, mm-hmm. and they're presenting other evidence but it's something we'll, we'll keep an eye on and obviously the most important thing is if there was something that that went on that was wrong that he is brought to justice. Oh, for sure. And also if, that if she it happened, is... Allegedly. I, I got to figure out how we cover our bases here. <laughs> I think we just have to keep saying allegedly. Is that what we do? I, I mean, I'm, I don't allegedly. know. Allegedly. But I feel like she also needs to make sure that she is taken care of or like the public needs to make sure that she is taken care of or mm. however it's going to go because um, I feel like a lot of times that's not what happens. So I hope that she's okay. If anything did happen. Absolutely. Um, I, yeah. hope that, I hope that... I hope the tr- she no one's scared to tell the truth right i guess is the big thing mm-hmm. because yeah i'm not okay cool we'll keep an eye on that mm-hmm. oh, all right all right and i'm sure everybody else will i know the whole internet has I, it I, I'm, I was conflicted even whether we're going to talk about it and i'm glad we didn't talk about it too much mm-hmm. because the mar the future of marvel is not that important no <laughs> does that it make is sense not. like no especially to these people yeah the worst case thing they'll do is recast him and we're you know trains back on the tracks Mm -hmm. okay but some of these people involved this can affect their whole life for a long long time also if you or anybody that you know um needs some sort of um outlet to help in any sort of situations please know that the national domestic um violence hotlines phone number it's 24 hours a day seven days a week um, they speak over 200 languages. The number is 800-799-7233. Okay. You can also text or chat online, anything that you may need. Okay. So we are now going to take a BuzzFeed quiz. Mm-hmm. And because we haven't really had a new Disney Plus show in a while for mm-hmm. Marvel. It's been a while. It's been a long time. It's been months. We are going to talk about, or we're gonna, the quiz we're taking is, if you were a Marvel Disney Plus show, which one would you be? Ooh. It's by I Am Groot, a community contributor. I really relate to the chaos of WandaVision. I guess before we take this quiz, mm. is there a Disney Plus show that you hope Ooh. you are? Um, not At this wa- point, there's quite a few. Not one division because um, that would be too real, too traumatic. Yeah, <laughs> um, Loki would be really fun. Loki, Loki would be fun. Loki. I think I would like to spend time or, with the Loki characters. Or Moonlight would be really fun too. Oh, wait, Moonlight, I, I, Moon Knight. I don't want to oh spend my time gosh. with Moon Knight. <laughs> I think it would be really, really insane. Yeah, um, I think that'd be really fun. Hawkeye ended up being a pretty Hawkeye fun was show. really cool. I mean, remember um, Florence Pugh was in Hawkeye, mm-hmm. which is, was. That's true. Fun. Made made that show a lot more fun. Yeah. I think. yeah but okay, let's so take true. the quiz. Okay. There's eight questions. The first question: The TV is on. What are you watching? Uh, the answers are: I don't like TV. I'd rather watch a play. <laughs> You're right. Would you be watching classic old movies? You. Would you watch a documentary? I just mm-hmm. watched a documentary today about the Branch Davidians, the Waco cult stuff. Hmm. Okay, would you watch a sitcom? <laughs> would you watch the news? Or would you watch Saturday morning cartoons? Hmm. The TV is on. This is like a real question because the TV is on. Sometimes. I feel like you would... I mean, I've seen you watching the news, old movies, mm-hmm. and documentaries. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I No, I'd rather watch a play. <laughs> okay. Which, yes, one, which one do you yes. think I'm going to choose? I think a sitcom for you. Oh. Or Saturday morning cartoons. You know me so well, my child. I mean, you don't want you don't want to watch. Do you want to watch the Waco documentary? I, th- or what? I don't think I want to watch the Waco documentary, but I think I watch a lot of like a animal, oh, animal yeah, I guess documentaries. So. I guess that if if you're talking about like reality shows that that document stuff, that makes sense because we've watched a lot of that. Yeah, it's like IRL stuff. Okay, I'm gonna pick. Now my that we know what you're watching, what are you eating? This is a very important question because we do always eat when we watch. Yes. 
Is that a good habit or a bad habit? I don't know. Okay, so you have mochi. I don't think we've ever had mochi together. I, oh, not together. I've had it before. Yeah, I've had it before too, but I haven't had it with they you. They have it across the street. They have a whole Literally, fridge yeah. filled uh-huh. with mochi. Okay. Okay, we got to do that soon. Mm-hmm. Breakfast for dinner. Yeah, My you love that. favorite, dude. I love breakfast for dinner. You can have breakfast food anytime and it yeah. would be so satisfying. Okay, steak, your favorite dinner. I love it. I know. Drinks, all right, and then pizza or pasta. Ooh. What What are you eating? Drinks. <laughs> Damn, that's <laughs> Only. not healthy at all. Okay. Well, you, you I know what you're gonna pick, and you I know, know you know what I'm gonna pick. You're in the mochi. You eat it all the time. Apparently, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you're in the car. What are you listening to? Ooh. Are you listening to a podcast? You nursery rhymes. What? I guess you have kids. Arctic Monkeys, mm. Marvin Gaye, Ooh. Pop Rock, or Top 100. Oh shit! I think you're a podcast for sure. Um, what do you think I am? Nursery rhymes. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I think I would say for you, pop rock, because it's the other ones really don't make a ton of sense. Like top one hundred, I don't think you really listen to. No. Arctic monkeys, I guess. I do listen to Arctic monkeys, yeah, but I think, and I do listen to Marvin Gaye. But, but I think you'd rather pick something more general, because pop rock includes a lot of songs. Does that make sense? I mean, I guess. Like you, you cover. You can do nineties or the do that. It's a okay. loophole. All Good right. loophole. Surprise! You get a plane ticket to anywhere in the world. Where are you going? The answers are nowhere. I'd rather stay home. Who the fuck? What? Norway. Ooh. Louisiana. We haven't been to Norway or Louisiana together. Uh, you- I guess technically we have been to Louisiana, though. We stayed at a hotel there. Okay, but that doesn't really we count. We didn't walk around, I guess. No. Yeah. New York. We've been there. London. Or, ooh, South Africa. South Africa. Ooh, I feel like you would go for Africa because that's one of the continents. I love South have, Africa, yeah. You have not been to mm-hmm. yet. South Africa, FIFA World Cup. Norway is gorgeous, though. And I've also never been to London. Dang. Been to Europe, just not London. Okay. Hmm. Choose a pet. A dog. <laughs> we have one of those. <laughs> a fish. I also have We've one of those. We've had that. A snake. I've never had a snake. A new puppy. I've had that. one of those. Or a cat. I have two of those. Or I don't want a pet. How dare you? not that one. I like that they Hmm. separate dog and a new puppy. Those are two very different things. Very different things. You're going to pick cat, huh? I don't don't know. I think if you've ever had a puppy and you'll realize you, you... would prefer not to have a puppy. You're, Puppies I think are you're a lot gonna, of work. I think that's what you're going to go for. I think you're going to go for a dog. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, not a new puppy, though. No. Okay, what's next? All right. You're bored. What are you going to do? You're going to go fishing, solve a puzzle, play with your dog, pull a prank on your sibling, yeah. learn a new magic trick, or take a nap. Okay. Play with your dog. You need to have chosen dog, I think. You can't choose a different animal and mm-hmm. pick that one. I that's agree. messed up. I agree. Um, I think you either chose learn a new magic trick or play with your dog. Mm. You don't or think take... I want to solve a puzzle? No. Not when you're bored, no. Okay. Well, I guess, does that count as playing video games, like solving a puzzle? No, not really. Oh, okay, no, no, well no. then no. Your friends would say you are Ooh. loyal, serious, introverted, caring, charming, or creative. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. I think you want to be creative. <laughs> Yeah, I think I am creative. Yeah, I think you're creative. What do you think I am? Caring. I knew you were going to say that shit. All right, last question. But you know what? I don't care. <laughs> oh, kidding. so you're not caring. <laughs> uh, what is most important to you? Family, approval, your job, friends, love, ooh, or your dreams? My dreams. Family, approval, your job, friends, love, your dreams. Hmm. Okay, I picked mine. My did job. You, did you put... <laughs> Did you put family? Love. Toretto. Okay. Um, I, ooh, I got my, it's calculating my results and I got my show. Uh, you got your show? Yeah. <gasps> oh my God. There's no description on mine. Okay. But we did mention it early on. Okay. The show I got was Hawkeye. Nice. Yeah. And I, I just said that's a really fun show. Uh, see, and I called this too. What did you get? WandaVision? I got WandaVision. Wow. And I said, I was like, it would be too real. And you know what? It, it is. is. <laughs> Hawkeye and WandaVision. Those are the shows we are. Hmm. That hopefully, makes a lot of sense, though. Hopefully, they'll add more shows to this oh, when for the sure. new shows come out, now that there's only like two I coming out. I want to know what you would pick to get Moon Knight. Like Probably what, all kind of all messed the, up all, stuff. All yeah. the ones that are just don't make sense. I thought all the family stuff would get you Miss Marvel or something, you know? 
Because that's oh, I could a show see that. that's a little bit more about family. I yeah, don't know what yeah, you yeah. do for Loki other than puzzle. The puzzle. A puzzle. Solving okay. a puzzle. Well, let us know what show you think you are. I've been taking a nap. For this week, <laughs> we are done with this app. Hopefully next week we have a lot more positive news to share with you. Yes. But until then, Sophia, what do you have to plug? Um, just thank you everybody for listening to the pod and supporting us. That It goes a long way. I know I say it every single app, but it's because it's true. We love yeah. you and um, we thanks. just appreciate thanks you. Thanks for listening to a Marvel pod while there's no new Marvel stuff. That's what I'm saying. Like We just appreciate the company and the love. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, if you want to continue that support, please check us out on Patreon. Not just um, this Marvel pod, but every other uh, show that's on the Delphin Pod Network. It's uh, patreon.com slash Delphin Pod, D-E-L-F-I-N, P-O-D. And um, you can contribute that way, too. And if you want to follow me on any of my socials, you sure can. Everything's going to be at underscore simply Sophie, S-O-F-I-E-E. Thanks so much for listening to the pod. We'll be back next week. Bye. Bye.